Don't make the heart. And we're back. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Lakota, and welcome to One Bit Heart. Uh, this is <laughs> this is a good game. Uh, it's also really quiet. I forgot how freaking quiet the uh, I forgot how freaking quiet the um <laughs> the f opening screen is to this. That's the word. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> so this is the new series. Uh, if uh, if you're confused as to why it's not Digimon, I released a video before this one comes out uh, explaining that uh, I wasn't really happy with how Digimon was turning out, um, and uh, I really I really wanted to do this. So here it is. Uh, as you can see, no face cam this time around. Partly because there's stuff on this, there's information that's going to appear on the screen that I don't uh, want to cover up with my ugly mug. So, <laughs> so it's just going to be me talking over the game. Uh, I've I have played this game before. It's actually really good, in my opinion. Uh, but I guess you guys will decide for yourselves. So let's go. Information. This game contains elements of logical deduction. You will receive some hints for these segments, but for those poor at mystery types games, there is also an option to show extra hints. Would you consider yourself poor at games that require logic, figuring out logic? I'm going to click this. Uh, special hints have been turned on, but I'm going to go ahead and say I, I have a walkthrough because I don't want to get stuck on anything. Um, it's been a very long time since I played this game, and I don't remember anything about it. Also, I played an earlier version of the game. Some of the stuff has been retranslated, partly because, uh, the game has now been released on Steam. So if anybody wants to play this, you can go, you can go to Steam and pay, like, it's like three to, it's like three to five dollars, somewhere in there. It's cheap, and it helps the developer of the game. Please. If you want to play the game, go buy it on Steam. It's very fun. Um, it's it's visual novelty, so take so if you're not into that type of game, know that ahead of time. <clears throat> but the story is very good. I'm turning the hints on, and I have a walkthrough uh, open in the background in case I get stuck, which I might get stuck a lot. Uh, I mainly play these games for the stories, which you guys should know by now. Also, they've got this really cool, like, manga thing going on. I love it. Beep, beep. Pow! <laughs> Meet our main character. When I first saw a picture of the main character, I thought it was a girl. It's a boy. <laughs> Chapter 1. Dolphins Dream and Milk Tea. That's the thumbnail right there. That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> mm. Huh? That late already? Guess I overslept. Not like that matters to a shut-in like myself. <clears throat> hmm, what should I do today? I beat all those games in my backlog. Good lord, I need to turn this down. I forgot how loud the music was. I beat all those games in my backlog. Maybe I'll go see what Mikado's doing. The controls. Arrow keys move everything around, or you can use the keypad. Two, four, six, eight. Is that a common thing? I, I've never used that one. Uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to call me a noob. Uh, <laughs> confirm, talk, or check is Z, enter, or space. Uh, cancel is escape, backspace, etc. Uh, the reset button is F12, so avoid the F12 button. Uh, message skip is control. Uh, move quickly is A plus a movement key. This information can be checked at any time from the computer in Nanashi's room.
There's also a button that opens a menu. I can't remember what it is. There it is. And there's the save. So as you can see, I have beaten this game before. Uh, ignore the second save. It's not important. At least not yet. I'm gonna go ahead and save on... Yep, there we go. But look at this! It's so artistic! I love the design on this. Uh, the guy who made this, uh... Me... <sighs> Hang on, I don't want to pronounce his name wrong. Miwashiba. Miwashiba, I hope that didn't... Sorry if that froze the game for a second, it's fine. Uh... Miwashiba... Mi Miwashiba? Anyway. Sorry if I'm butchering the name for people who are a fan. Uh... He, he made this game, he also made the Lie Eat game that I played in another series on the channel. Uh... He's also using this style for a, a very visual novel-like uh, game. That, uh, a very visual novel-like game that he's released recently, so... It's not finished yet, but, you know, it exists. I might play that one at some point, too. Morning, big brother! Ah, morning, Nanashi. Look at all that writing on his body. <clears throat> well, except for the part where it's noon. <laughs> it sure is! And I've got to get going soon. I believe there's still lunch in the fridge, but you'll have to get your own dinner. Excuse me. Got it! I'll order pizza or something! My body's going to get weak and floppy- Your body's going to get weak and floppy if you eat nothing but pizza, you know? Like you, big bro? Ah, <laughs> yes! I used to eat nothing but pizza, too. An unbalanced diet, to be sure. Oh, can you make a note for me? I've already written it. Written everywhere I can see. Sure thing! You're already read up to the neck, though. Where am I supposed to write? And yes, he is saying that he keeps notes on his body. Hmm. Thigh, maybe? Somewhere... Somewhere we're checking in public won't get me strange looks. Okay, let's say my cheek. Oh, too bad. Well, tell me what to write. <laughs> sure, it's not too long. 525-75-79-4353-7-32-89900-0-1143233-4343-5-4342157969219109. Not too long, huh? 525 Ellipsis <laughs> seven five seven nine dash four three five three seven dash three two dash eight nine nine zero zero. I think it just repeats. <laughs> just a thought, but I don't see why you can't use the memo function on your big phone. <laughs> it's always been said you remember things better if you write them down. That is true, but you can write them down on your phone. Okay, so I should also point out bit phones are. So those ear, that ear-looking thing on the back of Nanashi's head, and attached to his uh, actual ear, is called a bit phone. It has to do with the. It's in the distant future, so make your own assumptions. <laughs> right. Thanks. Well then, I'm off. Okay. Bye. Hmm. I'll wait a little for one for lunch. What now? I wonder. Okay, back to bed! <laughs> okay, bedtime! Uh... Uh... Hmm... <laughs> There's a girl in your bed, Nanashi! <laughs> uh... Who the?! <laughs> hmm? Who are you?! <laughs> Oh, wait. Who are you? That's what I'm saying! This is my futon! Uh... Oh, forgive me. I'll get off of it. Uh... Where did you come in? Come in? There weren't any... 
there weren't any guests. And this is the seventh floor of an apart of an apartment. Um, I don't know. Uh, even you don't know. What's your name? My name? There is. <laughs> there is very light voice acting. My name is Misane. Right, I'm Misane. Everything else, I don't remember. <laughs> Misane, eh? Good name! And I guess sleeping in my fut futon just now. Futon's just how it goes if you don't remember anything else. <laughs> but about how much can't you remember? Anything on your mind? Uh, I've never seen headphones quite like that before. Oh, you mean my bit phone? I made this myself. <clears throat> What is a bit phone? Bit phones are devices used all around the world. People these days are obligated to always wear them. <clears throat> it connects with brain waves and processes them, I think. It, I, it used to have have a lot of problems, but with the technology now, it's pretty safe. Most bit phones are kind of like this. Connects to their brain waves. Does each person have an ID of some sort? Right. When you're born, an ID is created for you, and it goes along with you as a citizen census. You can pick usernames on the internet and stuff, but IDs are completely unique, and you only get one. Well, remembering anything? No, not yet. But if you only have one ID, wouldn't it be dangerous if someone else took it? Well, there's something called a master program, and there's a control room for it at the very top of 307 Tower nearby here. The master program's 99.9% .9 safe, they say. Basically perfect, although it used used to be managed manually. People were nervous about the idea of leaving control to a program, but it's been about four months now and nobody thinks anything of it. There used to be cases of lost IDs, but now, not a one. So it's probably fine, right? <laughs> That's not how that works! Pretty sure that's not how that works! I see. So then, who manages this program? Uh, that'd be my cousin, Big Bro Mikado! Yeah, they're not actually brothers, they're cousins. <coughs> he made the current master program all by himself! Amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. Mikado? I've never heard that name. Well, you seem like you lost your memory, so I don't expect... So I don't know what else you were expecting. Let's go outside. I might learn more if I go around town. Huh? Outside? <laughs> Is there a problem? I mean, I've been a recluse for four months now. Going outside's, uh, not my forte. Kind of a bother. I've got a kind of shut-in pride to uphold. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> um, you're a shut-in? Oh, I guess I didn't introduce myself. I'm Yoshi Nanase. Everyone calls me trash, pest, maggot, spineless, dunce, plankton, moron, and all sorts of other things, so call me whatever name you like. Oh, I remember being this kid. <laughs> I remember being this kid. I just got to the point where I didn't care what people called me. Uh, of course, it took me till about <laughs> my third year of high school. <laughs> uh. Oh, and my goal for, for the future is world peace. <laughs> Can we talk about how those things don't line up <laughs> like at all <clears throat> something the matter er, well do you have a more proper nickname huh those are no good all right nanashi then that's what mikado calls me nanashi i see nanashi okay 
Okay, so I can't go outside and you have no memories. What should we do? Play video games? <clears throat> what? I'm going outside with you, Nanashi. <clears throat> what? Um, well, if you want to go outside with me, then I'll go outside with you. What about your shut-in pride? <laughs> oh, don't worry about me. If you if you say leave, I'll leave. And if you say buy yakisoba bread, I'll go do that. If it makes you happy, I'll be happy too. That is not how anyone should live their life. <laughs> you don't care about yourself. Uh... Huh. Well, I don't want to get too sick or anything, and I'd like to have a peace... I'd like to have a peaceful old age, but for the most part, if it's useful to others and it makes them happy, I'll do literally anything. That is not a way to live your life! <laughs> I want to say this now. Do not follow Nanashi's example at the beginning of this game. Obviously, he's going to get better. But do not follow his current example. I know there's a lot of crap going on in the world right now, but this is no way to live. <laughs> so somebody told you to die, would you die? Yeah, if my life could save someone else's and it made them happy, I'd give it for them for sure! <laughs> but I do only have one life, so of course I'd be very careful about such a decision. I see. I think I understand you now, Nanashi. Also, you should call me Misane-chan. Huh? But we met like five minutes ago. And I can't just call a girl my age Chan. They might... That might... Makes you sound like my girlfriend. Please! Call me Misane-chan. <laughs> Anyone else getting vibes here? <laughs> Vibe check! She likes him. <laughs> wow, you sure are proactive. Got it, Misani-chan. I can't promise I'll remember all the time, though. Now, let's go around town. We'll decide what to do as as we wander. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Misani-chan? Are you okay? That was such a natural tumble. It kind of brought a tear to my eye. <clears throat> Sorry, I have it a... I have a habit of tripping over things. I have a habit of tripping over nothing. <laughs> okay, that's great! <laughs> You've got cool qualities! But also clumsy ones on top of them! I think that's amazing! <laughs> also, I'd be kind of happy if you could let go of my pants. <laughs> it's, it's looking a bit unladylike. <laughs> oh, sorry. Er, uh, let's go. <laughs> okay! That doesn't get brought up a lot, but yeah, she's supposed to be the clumsy anime protagonist. Uh, that's a little weird, but you know. Huh? Mikado, weren't you going to work? Oh, Nanashi, just forgot something. I'll be heading back very... <laughs> Nanashi, when did you meet such a cute girl? Come now, you couldn't. You could have told me! Um, Mikado, is it? I'll let him introduce himself. Yes, I'm Mikado. That's probably extremely trivial, trivial information to you, so don't worry about remembering it. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that sounds incredibly <laughs> similar to what his cousin said. Mikado. This is Misane-chan. She was just sleeping in my futon. Says she has no memories. You know anything, Mikado? Hmm, I see. That's unfortunate. I'm good at guide. I'm good at guiding toward a fixed result, but this sort of thing is beyond my expertise. <laughs> Excuse me. I've seen amnesiacs suddenly regain their memories on TV. Maybe you just need to live as normal. That's not how that works. But I don't know anything. Not even where I live. Then you should stay here until you remember. I... Th I think. If you have parents, they should come looking. You can't act without any solid information. Is that okay? I'm not at home much, and you can use this room if you like. Oh, I'd better hurry before, before the big shots get mad. 
Nanashi, you're alone with her, so don't attack her or anything. <laughs> don't attack her or anything. <laughs> That's like saying, don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> and the person, and you know very well, the person doesn't not have a limit on many things they wouldn't do. That's just a joke, right? <laughs> of course not, dummy. Misane, you take care too. See ya! Huh? What is it, Misane? I just thought you two seemed similar. Huh? You can't associate an unremarkable piece of garbage who abandons his student responsibilities and blows the whole day watching TV and playing games at home with a genius like Mikado? Good lord. <laughs> I mean, I get down on myself, but good lord, Nanashi's made an art of it. <laughs> Can we maybe... Do something about you willingly calling yourself garbage, Nanashi. Should we? That's what everyone says I am. People at school told me not to co come anymore, which is why I became a shut-in. Mm -hmm. So you became a shut-in because of things you didn't like. Uh... Um, no, I love my classmates and I love school. And I had friends. But now that you mention it, everyone took me off their list. You don't have any friends? I used to, but not anymore. Look, it's just Mikado on my friend list now. I've decided an objective. Let's put my memories on hold and make some friends for you, Nanashi. Huh? Why? I don't really need friends. Please make some friends. <laughs> if you say so, me, Sonic Chan. Good lord. <laughs> he will literally do anything he's told. I'm gonna do it. Simp! <laughs> Am I cool yet? <laughs> I made myself laugh. <laughs> and that's what's important. <clears throat> I'm okay. But how do you make friends? I think I've gotten a little worse at socializing since I stopped going to school. Well, let's first look for someone your age. It should be less difficult to talk if you're similar ages. Oh, got it! You should be my friend too, Misane! Huh? Um, okay. Um, how? Uh, you just think friend list and do this with your finger. And a win window should come up. Then you send your data. Huh? What? An error? Non-existent ID? That's weird. This doesn't happen often. If it's throwing an error, then, oh well. Let's look for friends. Don't worry. I'll help you. Oh, we should use Mutter for that. I can register you. Anybody can use it. What is Mutter? It's an app I made. You can tweet words and save them. If other people register, they can talk, talk on your feed, too. And you can make groups of people and talk with each other. I made it to talk to Mikado and my parents more easily, but it's kind of spread. But it's kind of spread, and lots of people are using it. For now, I'll register you and make a group. How is he not rich? Then again, he's a shut-in and doesn't go to school, so I guess he might be. <clears throat> you have a real talent. This looks simple to use. You think? It's pretty easy for me to make apps. I should just look at the instructions, convert them into numbers, and follow them. Follow them like one, two, three. Convert to numbers? Uh... I've been able to see the world in numbers since I was born. It's kind of like the stats window in a game. Like, Misane, you're 77, 54, 78. <clears throat> Is it something like synesthesia? And what exactly are those numbers you're describing about? <clears throat> Your measurements! Not the leg! <laughs> That's actually one of my favorite jokes of the entire thing. <laughs> because what guy wouldn't? What guy wouldn't immediately... If he had the ability to, immedi to immediately know any number about a, a woman, what man in his right mind wouldn't immediately go to her measurements? For multiple reasons. <laughs> Please forget that. Now let's go. It might be good to greet people around town, learning their faces and names. Okay, let's go! Uh, and now... Yep, I now have Mutter on here, so I click enter. 
and there's a test post. Hello? Did it work? I think this works. Hello? Does this work? Yeah, okay, good. Let's write here about whatever happens. Okay, cool. <laughs> this guy is funny. Hello! Hmm? <laughs> um, what? Hello? Trespassing into Ashitobi Lab? <laughs> What a reckless act! <laughs> Very well, as you wish. I shall make you my guinea pig! Wow, we are so not on the same page! Who are you, mister? Hmm? Me? Me? Oh yes, you may call me this! And that was in English, so I don't think I need to read that. <laughs> okay, would-be mad scientist, Mr. Kiri. I'm Nanashi. Ha! <laughs> what do I care of your name? Now, drink this potion for me, would you? That's a very sickening color there. I wonder what'll happen if I drink this. Muscle augmentation. Hmm? <laughs> yes, the muscles. The muscular form. The beauty! Beautiful! <laughs> he did it for me. I'll do it anyway. <laughs> this is, a uh, this is, uh, kinda scary. Excuse me! your mouth I try to be as <laughs> I try to be as family friendly as possible no cursing I have no idea mm. ah hmm? oh sorry I was spacing out what do you need uh... er I'm looking for friends friends hmm was there a brandy by that name <laughs> Oh, I should introduce myself. Hello, I'm Nanashi. <laughs> that is not the voice I expected to come out of that one. Again, been a while since I've played this, so... <laughs> Hello, I'm Neo. I guess it figures there aren't any friends here. Sorry about that. Is it a foreign brand? I'll see if I can check on my next break. <laughs> ah, Neo! Can I have a sec? Neo, me too! I've got an issue here! Oh yes, hold on a second. Wow, you're a real ladies' man! Le Dizma... Dizman? The... <laughs> oh, Le Dizman? Are those chips? Sorry, but I need to talk to some other guests, okay? Oh, don't worry about it. I'm good here. Yes, good. Call me if you have any questions. Neo! I'm coming! I think I'll have to learn from this guy. <laughs> Hello! Hello? Do you have a question? Hey bro, could you give me a bottle of water or something? Ah, oh, that actually works. Thank you. Sorry about that. My throat has gone dry. Yep, listen to me opening a can. Hello, do you have a question? Welcome to the I want to know your name, miss. My name? Hmm. <clears throat> I am Sekyu. I am a guide here at 307 Tower. Is my name the only query you wish to make of me? How do I make friends? I'm terribly sorry, but my duty is to help people find their way around 307 Tower. Such life such life instructions is outside of my domain. My official reply to your query is that it is a 
commonly said to be rather difficult to obtain things which you desire, but personally, I say, do not touch me with a ten-foot pole. <laughs> ah! Ah! I knew I should have kept that eleven-foot pole! <laughs> As a person who... <laughs> As a person who plays D&D, GIVE ME THE TEN-FOOT PULL! <laughs> Your other lack of understanding is worse than a piece of gum spat onto the side of the road. If you have any other queries, I will return- If you have no other queries, I will return to my usual duties. Excuse me. Being insulted so, so, so politely is kinda neat! <laughs> okay. Ah, here's the other guy. And yes, I know it looks like he's dead. There's a reason for that. <clears throat> Mister, you'll catch a cold sleeping here. Uh... You okay? Are you sick, mister? Huh. I think I've seen you somewhere. Oh, that's right! That novelist! Writer of a million se of million sellers Gate of Rakshasa and H Hirohime! Uh, the great O- Onai Akutamori! Excuse me. That's a pen name. My real name is Akuta. Akuta... Akuta... Komome. Call me that, if anything. Oh yeah! Your name card says that too! But why are you here? If I'm going to die, I want to jump from this tower. It's the world's tallest. It has significance. <clears throat> this reminds me of a character from Persona 3 who was also a novelist and what had a disease that they were dying from. <laughs> That's sort of what they're going for here. But it's it's also in a game that is more geared towards that art style wise is geared towards a younger audience, so it kind of it feels a little weird. You're going to die, Mr. Akuta? No, I can't die yet. I want to die with someone. That's the end I desire. But there are so many fans of your work. I know lots of people look forward to your new books. They don't want me. It's my work they want. Huh? Is that particularly bad? I don't need money. I don't need compassion. <laughs> All I want is love. Ah, uh, I just got a good scene in my mind. I'll focus for a bit to work this out. Excuse me. <laughs> Down on the ground again. But he seems fine. <laughs> if that's what you define as fine, he's depressed. <laughs> He's very depressed. I may have gone too far. <laughs> nope, there he is. Nanashi, there's someone your age there. He's a boy, so perhaps he'll be easy to talk to. Whoa, right now? I wonder, but you'll help me, right, Misani-chan? I should mention that I'll only do so in a pinch. Please do your best before it comes to that, Nanashi. <laughs> you want to see me flounder? And then help me after? Okay, got it loud and clear. I'll get hit and shatter. I hope you don't shatter. Hello! Hmm. Nice to meet you. I'm Nanashi. Huh? Uh... What's your name? No, Natsukage. Well, you want something? <laughs> How about we go have tea? Huh? No, what are you talking about? <laughs> then let's be friends! It'll be a yes if we're friends, right? <laughs> uh, no. Why would I be friends with a total stranger? And a strange one at that. You are bad at this. Well, don't you want to find out? Find that out for yourself? No, I don't care. Try somewhere else. Bye! <laughs> I failed hard! <laughs> what kind of bizarre invitation was that? Well, I heard it's easy to get people to agree if you present unreasonable terms 
to them first, and then make them slightly more reasonable. Well, what's done is done. Time to look for someone else. No, I'm gonna be that guy's friend. My parents raised me to do stuff I s say to the end. He seemed like a particularly tough customer, though. And he seems to be soaking wet for some reason. I guess it's a hop. It's a hobby. Everybody's different, but like, is there a trick to making friends? Hmm, sharing interest is a key part. Maybe you should look for topics to discuss. Uh, oh, he was holding an ice cream popsicle. So, would I like, talk about his favorite ice cream? Ice cream. He must have gotten it from the candy store there. Go check inside, you might learn about him. We're kinda like stalkers, huh? Please don't say that. It's just necessity. All right then, let's gather info for the next attempt. Okay, uh, is this the candy store? <laughs> Hello! Welcome, you're a new face, aren't ya? Yeah, yeah, I'm Nanashi, nice to meet you. Ah, Mikado's cousin, wasn't it? I hear about you from time to time. Shitara's my name. Nice knowing you. Wow, you know me, mister? I'm glad! <laughs> miss. Huh? But according to my measurements and everything, you... Miss. Okay, miss! Good kid. I wish my brats could learn from you. Huh? You have kids? <laughs> Not my children. They're much younger but they're twin siblings of mine. Incidentally, though, I'm looking for, for romance. Nanashi, I'll bet you're, you'll be a fine man in a decade. Oh, should I take that as a compliment? I guess I will. Thank you. <laughs> One can never start too early, though. Um... <laughs> kidding, kidding. You're too fun to toy with, Nanashi. No hard feelings. And if you see those little rascals, you'd better be careful of their meddling. All right, I'll best be, I'll be best careful. Excuse me. See you around. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I actually need to go. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hello! Whoopsie daisy! Oh, what is it? Did you win a free ice cream? Do you know a blue haired boy who eats ice cream? Ah, Natsukage. Yes, he loves it. So he comes by often. Yeah, that's him. What do you know about him? Let's see. Ah, he plays that sport. Sushi run? He's very cool, they say. So fast that my old eyes can't keep up. Sushi run? I think she means sky sea run. It's kind of like surfing. You use a special board to run on water. It makes it look like you're flying. Hence the name, I think. Come to think of it, I thought I heard his name before. But I think I saw Na I think I saw Natsukage at a national tournament. I see. You know a lot about this kind of thing. When you don't go outside, you watch TV and news a lot. <laughs> Say, why do no news programs play more than half the day? Don't you think that's weird? <laughs> so, would you happen to know what sort of things Natsukage likes? He really likes Sushi Run, always practicing up for it, and Choco Banana Ice Cream is the kind he buys the most. I see. Is there somewhere around here where one can practice for the Sky Sea Run? Oh yeah, 307 Tower on Blue Sun Street. I think there might be a special stadium or something. <clears throat> then let's go there. And please remember what you just heard, too. Got it! Oh wait! Can I pet your cat? Oh, very well. She's an old lady herself, so not too rough. Go on, Hanako. Aw, it's cute! This cat's so cute, I want to stay here forever. Nanashi! 
Ah! Oh, sorry. Bye, miss! Bye, Hanako! <laughs> uh... Now, I know there are characters... Oh, look! There's a shrine. Hello! Oh, oh, good day. My name's Nanashi. I'm going around. I'm going in green, everybody. <clears throat> I'm the shrine maiden here. Call me Hakuhi. If you ever come on troubles, it may be wise to pray to God. So God exists! That gra that's great! Yes, belief will save you, but you must take action yourself. God just gives you a little push in the right direction. If you ask me, though, I'd prefer a, to get a push from a, from you rather than God, miss. Oh dear, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> the joke is, she's pretty. Hello! Ah, good day. I'm Nanashi. Are you a cop, mister? Yeah, I keep watch over this area. I'm Takamiya. Don't go starting any trouble around me, alright? <clears throat> but how much trouble would you permit? <laughs> would you forgive me? What's with this kid? Just nothing unsightly, at least. I've got enough trouble with all the weirdos in this town. Okay! Looks like he's got stomach problems. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do weird stuff around him. There's a spot where I can walk through. But I think I missed back here. Whee! Running at hyper speed! <laughs> Whoa, it smells really good in here. Arash high. Oh. Arash high. What's your order? Oh, sorry. I'm just greeting people. I'm Nanashi. Ah, I see. I see. Shirin, the shopkeeper here. Be sure to stop by if you get hungry. I'll get the good stuff for you. Though this is a ramen shop, so I'd be most glad if you asked for ramen. Oh, so the good smell is ramen. <laughs> Came in with that checking what this place was. What kind of ramen do you like, Nanashi? Kitsune Udon. Ain't that cup ramen? I'm always at home, so that's basically all I've ever eaten. Well, I do home delivery, too. Tell me if you've got a hankering for ramen. Search Furajin Fura Fura and order straight from her website. Alright, do you have Kitsune Udon? Unfortunately not. I recommend Tonkotsu. Oh, I like Tonkotsu ramen, too. I'll have... I'll have that when I get hungry. Hope to see you in here. <laughs> okay. And then, whee! Aha! There they are. <laughs> These were the ones that I didn't want to miss. <laughs> I try to find everyone beforehand. That way I don't have to go hunting for them later. Hello! Watcha! Watcha watcha! <laughs> I'm Nanashi! I'm Shimaro! And I'm Kuroku! Huh? The black one's Shiroro and the white one's Kuroku? The joke here is is that uh, Shiro in Japanese means white, Koru means black. So uh, the girl is named Shiro Shiroro, which is white, which is a little weird. And then the white one is who's a boy, I think. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, is named Kuroku, so the white one is named Black. So, you know. The Japanese love puns. You betcha! Betcha betcha! Uh... Um, I'd 
be a lot it'd be a lot easier to keep track if your names matched your colors. Sounds like you're just a dummy, mister! It's a kid's job to be contrary to grown-ups. Flip things on their heads! What are your favorite colors? Red! Orange! Favorite foods? Squid ink pasta! Chocolate! Pretty different for twins. Okay, I've learned something today. <laughs> Too bad nobody's learning from you, mister! <laughs> you bet! <laughs> what are those fox ears? There are bit bones! Grown-ups will do anything if you're sly enough. Seriously gullible. <clears throat> I'm getting bored, Kuro... Ku, let's play... <clears throat> let's play there! <sighs> you betcha! See ya, mister! What energetic kids. Huh? Ah! When did all these birds get on my back? <laughs> all right, I should probably start heading to the tower. There it is. Da! Ah! Not what I intended to do. Can they go in here? Yeah, that's my house. Got it. You have to reapply the dash on every screen. It's kind of annoying. Hello! Wow, you smell like a pool! That brings me back. Hmm? Oh, what? You a new member? Oh no, I'm not. I'm Nanashi. Who are you? <laughs> Me? I'm Yukinage. I'm Yukinaga. I'm an alien! <laughs> wow, I've never met an alien before. You look just like a person and talk like one too. Oh, what planet do you come from? Planet Oto! Nanashi, you're getting off topic. Excuse me, did Natsu Kage come here? Oh, oh yeah, Orca just came in. He's practicing right now. He'll get real mad if you bother him, so come another time if you want to talk. Orca? Natsu Kage is known as the above water Orca. Uh... It used it used to be because of his rough playing style, but it's lately but it's lately less of a nickname and more of an insult about his just barely legal playing. Well, I've just called him Orca, but I guess he's ki kind of bad-tempered lately. What do you suppose is the cause? I don't know. Kind of a slump, maybe? He never takes a break, no matter what you tell him. I see. At any rate, it seems we can't currently talk to Natsukage. Natsukage, should we wander around town so? Okay, let's kill some time. We'll be back later, Yukinaga. Gotcha, see ya! Okay. I think I have to go introduce myself to everyone in town. Which I was almost done doing anyway, so let's go finish up. Already did there and there. I think she's the only one I haven't talked to. Hello! Uh, welcome. My name's Nanashi. What's your name, miss? <laughs> I'm Kaori. Looking for someone, or...? Um, well, I'm looking for friends. Ah, well, check the second shelf from the right. There should be a book on communication skills in the back. It was published long ago, but it should still prove useful. I can make friends by reading books? Who knows, but better to try... Re better than try than not, right? Not that I've... Not that I've ever used it myself. I see... There sure are a lots of books here. Yes, we do get new releases, of course, but the majority are old. If you're here for new manga, I'd suggest going elsewhere. Can I visit just to see you, miss? Do as you please, if it doesn't bother my reading. 
Heck yeah! Okay, uh... I'm going to check real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Huh. Ah! <laughs> I did the wrong thing. That's okay. <laughs> I was eventually gonna do that anyway. There's a person I need to talk to now. There she is! The pretty jellyfish girl! <laughs> That's basically uh, the albino jellyfish girl. I call her jellyfish girl because I think that's what they were going for with her hairstyle. I could be wrong. Not a sheet, that girl there also looks our age. But she's a girl, are you sure? It'll be fine. Okay, then so it will! <laughs> Um, hello! How are you? Hello to you too! I can understand Japanese fine, so just talk normal at, at me, Kudasai. Oh, okay. Your ID wasn't Japanese, so I wasn't... Oh, that... Yeah, so the comment... The reason it was quotation marks a little while ago was he was trying to speak English, so I wasn't sure. I'm not a she! <clears throat> it's a rare sight with... With how advanced automatic translators are these days. <laughs> uh, I believe she's part Italian. I'm Miyumi Miklarino Mizuki. You're Shiko to meet you. I like to talk to people with my own voice, not a machine one. So I'm Gun Butterwing. You want to be friends? Okay. Really? Oh, I just remembered. Orkun told me you shouldn't friend someone you just met. Go, man. Orkun? Hi. He's my tomodachi who teaches me lots of Japanese, but he's practicing Sky Sea Run right now. Could she be talking about Natsukage? Yes, Desu. But we kind of haven't talked much lately. Did something happen? Mm. Orkun doesn't talk much about stuff to me. I went to see him practice, but these days he tells me nope. About when did he start to do that? <clears throat> Very lately. About two weeks ago, could I? I'm worried. And he's also bumping into people a lot as he plays. It's sort of getting the attention of big shot people. But... But Orkun's really ya Yasashi, the nicest. Is it not foul play to crash into people? Mm. When you pick up lots of speed and Sky Sea Run and crash into someone, they really go flying. It's an instant out if someone if it's on purpose and not accidental. If Natsukage's draw on the attention, then it must be the latter. Can you really befriend someone with such a dangerous air? But Miyumi here says he's nice. Maybe there's something behind this. Possible. We've talked a while out here. Do you think he's done practicing by now? Yeah, maybe. We've got some topics too, right? Maybe I can keep the conversation going this time. Okay, Miyumi. Okay, Miyumi. We're leaving now. I'll we'll check on Natsukage for you. Okay. Yoroshiko to do that. Yoroshiku. I'm going to do my best to do the uh, Japanese parts. I'm probably butchering it, and I apologize to any native-speaking Japanese people who aren't watching this because they don't speak, because they, <clears throat> who probably aren't watching this because I think all of my viewers are from America. I actually haven't checked. <clears throat> but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> Okay. Nanashi, it seems to be break time. Natsukage is over there. <laughs> Natsukage! God, it's that weirdo again! <laughs> I, 
I just imagine in my head, I'm just imagining these scenes animated, <laughs> and it's hilarious. <sighs> it's it's break time, right? Want to talk? What's wrong with you, honestly? So this is who N Yuki Ka Yuki Naga was talking about. Come on, just for a second, please. Uh, don't jump up and down. It's so embarrassing. Fine. Only until break is over. Okay, time for my second try. I'm gonna scroll down. <clears throat> what are those hearts and numbers that just appeared? Again, you have to remember in this in this world, peop the virtual and reality kind of mesh together. So this little heart display that just popped up actually popped up for them. They represent my mental strength. Meaning, um, when I talk to people, I can present these topics, right? And if the topic I bring up doesn't really fit the conversation, things will get really iffy. <clears throat> ah, so it'll be awkward. <clears throat> but then it happens, my mind takes damage. It's tattered enough as is. <laughs> what if it goes down to zero? Then my glass heart shatters and my life will break down. In, t in terms of games, it'll be game over. I see, but it's fine if you don't pick the wrong topics, yes? Uh. There's also the issue of when to present topics. If I do it at a weird time, he'll be like, what's with this clown? <clears throat> that kind of situation is mentally damaging too. Like a spelunker who dies from the slightest fall. Well, let's review the topics we have. Okay, I'll go open up my memos. Yep. So, we've been taking memos of all this stuff as you probably noticed at this point, uh, as things have gone on. <clears throat> okay. Okay, you're ready now. Yep! Also, is there a trick to making friends? A trick? Don't run your mouth. Read the situation. Smile. I would call those the three funda fundamentals. People say I make slips of the tongue a lot, so I wonder if it'll be okay. If I'll be okay. Mm. Well, it's not good. Be wary of that. Also, don't be too kind to people. What's that mean? It might be hard to explain to you now. You should do fine. At least I hope it goes well. I won't speak up much, but I'll be nearby. <clears throat> hey, if you want to talk, hurry up. I don't have a lot of br lot of a. Br I don't have that long of a break. There we go. <clears throat> okay, right. Got it. Talking time. So, Natsukage, you play Sky Sea Run. Is that why your clothes are so wet? Yeah, it's just a pain to dry off. There's a room for it, but it kind of smells weird. How's it smell? Why are you so desperate to know about the smell? <clears throat> I guess I'd compare it to the smell of grass after rain. Keep talking. So what? Is that what you wanted to talk about? Nah, there's a lot of stuff. Like, I saw you at the Nationals, but <clears throat> looking at you now, your muscle tone is all different. Your legs are especially well toned. How do you know how do you know that? I'm wearing long pants. Oh, I'd be able to tell whatever you were wearing. I'm might as you might as well be stark naked to me. Totally pointless. The heck does that mean? <laughs> You're freaking me out. I'll spare you the boring explanation. That's what you'll spare me. <laughs> uh, uh, it just remembered there is some cursing in this game. I will do my best to work around it, <laughs> or I might just slip up and do it anyway. You have been warned, there is cursing in this game. Keep talking. So what are your... F so what are you after here? You just want to have fun? Basically, it's fun just talking with people, so I was thinking I'd be friends with you. You still aren't giving up, huh? But you seem little... You seem less displeased than before. Don't you think this might work if I push it? Don't say that to my face. Look, if our hobbies are taste match, then I guess I might consider being friends. Really? 
I wonder what we have in common. Hmm, what's your favorite food? Food? Another personal question? Food. Meat and citrus foods? Fruits and ice cream? Present topic. Ice cream, like at the candy store, right? They've got so many flavors and it looks cheap and tasty, especially that choco banana flavor. Never actually had it before? Nope, I've start. I've stayed at home ever since moving here. I had no idea what was sold where. You sick with something? Oh, nah, don't worry. It's nothing serious like that. Uh... Saying I stopped going to school and became a shut-in would be running my mouth, I think. Well, no harm in trying at least once. The choco banana flavor is really good. Another bonus is that ice cream... To ice cream is that if you're lucky, you can win another free one. That's actually a really interesting... That's actually something they do do in Japan where... Um, after you finish it, there's like a mark on the stick or something like that, and you can take it back in and they'll give you a free one if it's uh, a certain mark or something. A free one? With those low prices? With those low prices? Won't they go into the red giving away free stuff? Guess that might be a concern. Huh. I mean, think of that old lady. Her last years wouldn't be very nice if she went broke. I think she'd still be fine myself. Um, I knew that. <laughs> right. Good going, Nanashi. Still a little awkward, but you're on the right track. Man, talking brings me back. I'm getting excited. If this keeps up, you can surely become friends. One more push. Uh... By the way, Misani-chan, you said you'd be nearby, but you're clinging to my back. <laughs> Please pretend I'm not here. <laughs> I kind of, sort of feel the warmth from... I am not here. Right, I'll do my best. <laughs> you have any hobbies or anything? You have any hobbies or anything? Me? Well, you're not going to hear much of interest. I decide if it's interesting or not. Anything at all? Um, games, manga, sleep? Hard to respond to that, yeah. <laughs> So you really haven't gone outside? How'd you do schoolwork and stuff? Are you way overdue? I mean, I can learn at home too. Eh, you can talk to distant friends online, so I guess it's not so big a deal. For friends, y yeah, of course. Hmm? <laughs> hmm, is Nanashi your real name? Er, my real name's Yoshi Nanase. And it's basically a bunch of sevens and fours. So, Nana and she. Nanashi. Huh. So it's sort sort of a nickname. Present topic. Orca. Speaking of nicknames, you're called Orca, right? Does that have an origin or anything? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm? I'd rather not say. Doesn't matter anyway. But I'm sure there was a reason for why Natsukage was called Orca. Uh, I think, ow, oh, it's this one. You're called Orca because of your rough play, right? I hear it's been really something lately. That's just because of, huh? What is it? Nothing. Forget it. Break time's over. See ya. Uh... Did I do something awkward? Yeah, but I fixed it. <laughs> you hit upon a sore subject, it seems. But I wonder what he means by because of. Gosh, what happened? He went back to practice, so I can't know now. Hmm, what to do? Uh... Back home for now? I'm pretty tired from walking around and talking to people besides my brother. Excuse me. You are feeble, aren't you? Nothing to be done. We'll return home for now. Yep, back to the house. Huh? 
Huh? Weren't you going to work? Hmm? Oh, Nanashi and Misane, you startled me. You don't look too good. Did something happen? <clears throat> Just a bit of a troubling incident. It seems part of the master program is being hacked into. Hacked? It's being taken over? <laughs> not it. Not all of it, but yes. But you made your own programming la language for it, right? Nobody knows it but you. <clears throat> it's rather complex. Others learning it would be time consuming. So I was rather confident in its security. It appears the hacker is not targeting the program directly. Rather, they're interfering with people's bit phones. That's why I was a little slow to notice it. Do you know who the hacker is? If you can infer their ID, they'd be easy to find. Yes, normally. But they must be using some special device, as I'm completely unable to determine their ID. All the people who were hacked are residents of this town, so I think it's likely the hacker, likely the hacker is here. What happened to those people? Their minds were briefly hijacked. They did things they had no intention of doing, and they seem to have no memories from that time. Can anyone else provide assistance? Like I said, the master program is coded in a language I designed entirely by myself. I made it about as complex as I possibly could, such that I would it would be hard for others to crack. Though, if I were to teach it to someone, I expect Nanashi would learn the fastest. Huh? Me? Why? Well, you help me write notes. And you understand a little bit of all- Little bit of all that, yes? I'm sure I told you this before. I'm glad you think so, but I only know like one or two things out of a million. No, that's plenty. From those, you could work out the structure. Any- Anyway, for now, I need to quickly patch up the issue. Then I'll look into the root cause of all this. I'm heading back to work now. I'll be here, but think of me as invisible or a dust bunny. <clears throat> it's nice that he doesn't have to go anywhere to do his job. <laughs> yeah, Mikado can't focus at work with big shots yelling around him. When he, when he really needs to concentrate, he works at home. <clears throat> I see. What is it, Misane? Are you feeling bad? <clears throat> it's nothing. Can we rest over there? How about we talk on the bed, perhaps? Uh, sure. I need to check something real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna save real quick. All right. Uh. Misane-chan, you definitely look pale. Are you okay? Are you looking at my body num at my body numbers, or is this a personal opinion? Um, both, I guess. I see. How long have you known Mikado? Uh, uh he's my cousin, so probably since I was little. Feels like he's always there, pretty much. He suggested I stop going to school and relax here. He's really nice. Which is to say, you didn't always live here. <laughs> nope! I used to live somewhere more royal, rural. I was worried if I could relax in a city like this, but it doesn't really matter when you don't go out. What was the name of the place you lived in before? Mashiro... Mashiro Town. What about it? I think I'm just confused because of my lack of memories. Sorry if I worried you. <clears throat> You gotta know your limits, you know? You should worry about yourself more than... Yourself more than me, Miss Sane-chan. You really are nice, Nanashi. I like that about you. Uh? But you can't be too nice. Please be careful. <clears throat> uh, yeah! <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. Break time is over! <clears throat> You're okay now, right? I am, but what about you? I'm fine too, yep! <laughs> I see. Will we wander around town again? Natsukage seemed hurt, so talking to him may not be advisable until you've given it some time. Got it! Okay, and then... Yep, there she is! <laughs> Mamashi! Mamashi? Score! That's a new nickname! <laughs> What's the hurry? Orkun! Orkun! 
Natsukage? His leg was hurt. He was walking strange, so I got worried and, and pulled up the pant leg, and it was all swollen. What? What did he do then? He pushed me to the wall and ran away. Something seems off here. Do you know where he went? <clears throat> I gumbarrued it to chase him, but e even with the wound, Orkun was so fast, I lost sight of him. Uh... You must be tired. Um, you must be tired, huh, Miyomi? Like, gotta rest or you'll faint soon. Huh? Can you, Wakaru? But I'm worried about Orkun. I want to apologize since I made him mad. Made him mad? By pulling up his pant leg? No, after that, I told him stop playing so dangerously. It'll be really ab abunai to go any further. And he seemed really irrit he seemed really irritated lately. So I said I'd listen if he wanted to talk. Uh... Then what did he say to say to you? It doesn't have to do with you. It appears he's hiding something after all. I'm curious about what he said before, too. There's totally something going on. Let's look for Natsukage. Miyumi won't be cheering up at this rate. What? Just thinking that you're pretty kind yourself, Misane-chan. Misane-chan? Hey, your heart rate went up. Are you embarrassed? <laughs> Don't grab the collar, you'll stretch it! Let's move quickly. If he's wounded, you should be. he should be nearby. Got it! Rest under the overhang, Miyumi. Don't push yourself. We'll do... Do what we can to help. Y yes Arigato! A lot! There he is. There he is, Natsukage! Uh... Huh, is he in a fight? <laughs> huh, I wonder if he'll be important later. That's what I'm saying, you bumped into me! So... So why didn't I shout? Seems weird, don't it? You were the one walking so slow. I don't think I have to apologize for that. That's why I'm saying, it's weird. What more do I gotta say so you can get it? Seems like you're the one with the low bit rate brain. Eh, if you're picking a fight with me, it's on. Stop, stop, stop. Um, Mr. Red Guy, Mr. Blue Guy here is kind of in a bad mood. The blood's gone to his head. He can't make good judgments. What? Uh, um, so I'll apologize in his place. Won't you let him go this time? Eh, fine. You're a party pooper and I'm sleepy. See ya. <laughs> That's a Kage! You again. Yeesh. If you've got nothing to say, get out of here! <clears throat> no way! I promised Miyumi I'd help you! Miyumi? She went out again? She got worried about you and went looking. You took a big leg injury, huh? It's no big deal. Just made a little mistake during practice. But it's a big deal of an injury! Sky Sea Run depends on your legs! If you push too hard, couldn't you be out out of it for a month? Nanashi, you're being too hasty. Natsukage, why are you so stubbornly trying to hide something? Even I don't know what's going on, okay? So there is something. <clears throat> Ugh, seriously, everyone's so weird lately. Do you feel like telling us about it? Nope. What do you think we should do, Nanashi? Uh... Well, if we really wanted to hear it from him, I could read Natsukage's mind. Mm -hmm. Very funny. Wait, can you do such a thing? I told you, I can see everything as numbers. Physical stuff, feelings, and even thoughts show up. But it takes some time to do... <clears throat> some time to do the con conversion, so it wouldn't be instant by any means. <clears throat> but I've got just the thing for that! da 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 Oh, it's cute! What's this small floating object? An app to rapidly convert numbers! 
I never had to use it. I never had a use for it, so I just let it collect dust and, well, technically, you could call it a virus. How does it work? Just earlier, it was said that even you would have trouble interfering with the master program. I'd have problems with my brother's program, sure, but it's just converting the numbers I see. I'm not really touching the program directly. Maybe it'd be faster to show you. Uh, well, Natsukage doesn't notice. <laughs> Reading. Your friends be friends at the swimming pool have been acting strange. That's why you're displeased? And why you were hurt, right? No. <clears throat> ah! He ran! <laughs> There's not much point if you say it in front of him. It seems he's run towards 307 Tower. To the swimming pool, maybe. I've got a bad feeling, but let's follow. The dash does not always immediately kick in. I have no idea why. <laughs> huh? Didn't I tell you to rest, Miyumi? Man, you already look like you're on the brink. Uh, um, do you know this lady? Ah! You scared me! <laughs> S sorry, I know I'm small. She didn't look well, so I was keeping her company. Oh, well, I think she'll be okay now that we're here. <laughs> really? That's good. Okay, I need to make a delivery now. Uh... Are you okay, Miyumi? Let's move into the shade of that building. I'm really Gomenasai. I broke my promise. I saw Orkun pass by, so I went after him. Can we talk a little about Natsukage? Okay, I can tell you what I know. <clears throat> Earlier you told us Natsukage was acting strangely. How exactly was he strange? Well, he was kind of chigao from the usual Orkun. There's no way he'd play so recklessly, but he seemed normal outside of practice. Did it seem as if someone was controlling him? You mean... I wouldn't be able to say for sure. I only saw him a few times, then he stopped letting me watch him practice. Uh. Misane, are you trying to say that Natsukage is a victim of the hacking Mikado was talking about? We have no definite proof. Could you contact Mikado? He should reply if I use Mutter. Do you want to, want to ask him something? Yes, please. Is the hacking being done via a virus? It's very likely a custom-made virus is being used, but since bit, bit phones are being directly interfered with, the hacker is likely nearby. Say a person was hacked and taken over, could the virus spread from them and affect others? Yes, that's possible, though I doubt the infector would realize it. I don't under fully understand this virus yet, but I think anyone who was infected that way would be less controllable for less time and such. Thank you very much. So, what does this info mean? First of all, there is a significant possibility that the swimming pool students are infected with a virus, and Natsukage may be the source. You're saying Natsukage was hacked and the virus spread from him. Yumi told us he was different from the usual Natsukage, and Natsukage thought he that his friends were acting oddly. And Mikado has told us the virus can spread without the person being aware of it. And that they have no memory of being controlled. Even I don't know what's going on. Perhaps he said this because he has no memory of it. Hmm, uh... some part of that's tripping me up. Like, I feel like something's different. But it's not Natsukage. What would that be? I don't know. I can't say exactly. I'll have to make you say this... Exactly. Will we apprehend Nag Natsukage or help him? Uh, yeah, I guess we should decide that. Don't want a, sp a split opinion messing us up. View everything we have thus far and we'll talk it out. Is Natsukage the source of the hacking or not? Okay. Oh, Mumi, go in some building somewhere. You can't wear yourself out anymore. Okay. Excuse me, Shimasu. All set? Then let's begin. Discussion time! There are several reasons for me, for me to consider that Natsukage is being hacked. 
Mimi said earlier that he wasn't the usual Nav Natsukage, but only during practice. He was unchanged otherwise. I believe the hacker is hacking people to control them, though I don't know what the objective what the objective they have. Mikado has told us that they retain no memories from the time that they were being controlled. Even I don't know what's going on. Perhaps he said this because he has no memory of it. Wounded leg. When I asked Natsukage about his wounded leg earlier, he said it's nothing, just a little mistake during practice. Isn't that proof he remembers his practice? Hmm? You're right. The question then is, why is Natsukage playing roughly in practice, and why is he stubbornly trying to, hi to hide the reason? Well... Maybe because Natsukage's nice? Miyumi said he was usually a nice person. Hmm. I think there's a chance someone at the school is tar the target of the hacking. That's why he's confused too. He won't tell anyone because of his confusion and not wanting to get anyone involved, maybe. That's still only speculation. Do you have any proof to back it up? Hmm. Proof that Natsukage's not just selfish. Aha! When I read his mind, he was worried about his friends. Wouldn't that be proof of his kindness? Hmm. Alright, there's still a lot of ambiguity cleared up, but I think you're correct, Nanashi. Let us help Natsukage. If he hasn't been infected yet, it's dangerous for him to be there. Yeah. Oh! What is it? Boy, you're just so co coercive, Miss Sunny-chan. It really pumps me up! Uh, sorry. Maybe it comes with the job. What's that mean? No, forget it. You can do work when it comes... You can do work when it comes down to it, Nanashi. Uh, thanks. I'm always glad for compliments. Anyway, let's go see Natsukage. Yep, okay. Getting near the end of this chapter. Awesome. Natsukage! Huh? Uh... <laughs> He's in trouble! <laughs> Watch out! Hurry this way! Why? I can't just leave these guys alone! Just hurry! We'll explain later! Darn it! What's going on? The door to the stadium shut. So, explanation. Anyone, what was that? Oh, wait. That was Natsukage talking. Explanation. Anyone, what was that? Are you familiar with hacking? Huh? What's that? I assume not much has been said publicly yet, likely to keep the populace from devel devolving into chaos. Ahem. What was that? Calm down. You suffered a leg injury in practice, yes? Can we get a more detailed explanation? Has this got to do with anything? Yes. Fine. If it'll make those guys go back to normal, I'll say whatever I need to say. Lately, during practice and practice games, most of the guys are being just plain weird. They go way off course, crash into people, and then they go so fast that if they crash in a bad way, they wouldn't walk out with a little injury, that's for sure. Did your injury come from a friend crashing into you? Nope, they were running right alongside me. Then they just all of a sudden went back to normal. That's when I messed up, crashed and got this. Then that would be the reason why. Your reckless plane stands out. That would be the reason why your reckless plane stands out lately. To put it simply, there have been several cases of people having their consciousnesses hijacked. We suspect this is another such case. Hijacked? By who? For what? Excuse me. That's just it. We don't know why someone would be... would hack people to do this sort of thing. Perhaps it's just for the fun of it? Who'd do this for fun? What a piece of... For fun of it? But hacking isn't easy to do to do these days. 
there's probably some goal here, right? So how do we get them back to normal? What you said implies that some kind of stimulus will cause them to go back to normal. Thus, I believe your friends are infected. They are being hacked via a virus, and that virus spread allows for the hacking of other people. But the symptoms are weaker than the, than the one who is directly hacked. Is there anyone among your friends who doesn't appear to return to normal even after a strong impact? How should I know? There's lots of them. I can't pay it. I can't be paying attention to every one. How about how many? About how many would you say are likely infected? But a hundred people go to the school. I'd say about two thirds. That's just my. That's just what my gut says. Do you know all of the students? There's a shift system, but I'm here every day. I know most of them unless they're new. I see. It seems that someone who meets with everyone would be the best would be best as a source for the infection. But if it's not Natsukage, somebody else who knows everyone. Does anyone come to mind? Even the coaches aren't here every day. Wait. I don't want to think about it, but Yukinaga. He's here almost every day too. Uh, the boy in the orange parka? Yeah, the alien! He called Natsukage by his nickname! Yuki Naga. We've always gotten along, although, although when I got this injury, it was him I crashed into. And he was super worried about me. Almost too worried. I didn't think he was acting that odd, but... He didn't seem to be acting odd, you say? Sane? Sorry, my head is scrambled. Right, I can see that. Say Yukinaga is the source of the virus. He was directly hacked, meaning he could totally he could be totally controlled. That's correct. Mm. So would they be able to see his memories and info too? Bitbones automatically record certain stuff. Mm -hmm. No, it's a master prompt programs program which protects information such as that, isn't it? So it would be impossible. Although they can manipulate the All they can manipulate is the brainwave signal. So that means they have to keep watch for a while, then hijack him, then try to mimic him, right? I see. If so, they would have imperfect knowledge. You could easily find a hole if you kept asking questions. Right, so we'll talk to him, and if there's a contradiction with Yukinaga, we... With the Yukinaga we know, we might find the fake. And if we're lucky, the hacker. Would that really be possible? While we're talking, I'll try to analyze Yukinaga's bit phone. He might find- we might find them if I follow the trail from there. Can you not perform the same mind reading you've used for Natsukage? Uh. Um, well, I don't have a way to deal with viruses. If Yukinaga is being hacked, I'll probably get infected too. I'd rather that didn't happen, so maybe it's best to talk. <laughs> now we need to find Yukinaga. Yukinaga! And Miyumi, too! Or Kun! Why are you here? I told you not to come! That's what you always tell me! And you keep butting your head... ...in more dangerous stuff! I said this has nothing to do with you! It does, too! I just don't want... Uh, ...want you gunboruing too hard and ending up all ragged like... ...like me, Or Kun! You... <sighs> Sorry. I said too much, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa! I can feel the love! Huh? I was downstairs buying a drink and bought her and brought her since she said she wanted to see Orcho! But now I kind of feel like I'm I'm getting in the way. Nanashi! Right! Yukinaga, do you maybe want to talk with me? Huh? Oh, to be your friend or whatever? Sure! We can add each other right away! No! No, 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 no! There has to be, um, like, a process! Uh, we have to climb up steps and such! Oh, nice! I love stairs! Sure, we can talk till practice starts! You convinced him rather easily. I wonder if he's not... I wonder if he's not being controlled right now. It'd be annoying if we could switch like that. 
but I guess I just need to talk to him and see. Get your information order and check it over. Okay. Okay. All set? All set? Well, good luck. Talking time. Er, uh, er, uh, were you, where were you born, Yukinaga? Space! Big Bang! Wow, the great mystery of life's origin, I see. Great mystery of what? But yeah, I was super huge, dude. So what are your favorite things? Hmm, hmm, man, that's a huge area. Oh, chocolate bars and family, and nice cool places, and I love manga and sports! There we go. Sports, huh? Well, do you play Sky Sea Run? You like it? Yeah, I love that stuff. Love getting that wind and water at the same time. Actually, you went to nationals, huh? You must be training a lot. It's kind of like... It's so fun that it's part of me now. Before I knew it, here I was, and it makes me super happy to improve my times. I see. I guess it would be fun to keep going with that. Hmm, I haven't talked to Fukinaga much, so I can't really tell if anything's weird so far. Make a forceful attack when you... When you do see something. I know you're, you're also doing your analysis, but good luck. I'll do my part as well. Hey, do you want to play too, Nanashi? I can teach you how how if you want. Eh, I'm not good at anything physical. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you're like on land, as long as you're okay with being blown away a little and your body feeling sort of light, you'll be fine. But if you don't want to play, maybe you just want to watch. I think it's super exciting just to see it done. Yeah, I watch games all the time. It really gripped me even watching on TV, so I thought it might be even better in person. You bet. Being a runner is the most exciting, of course, but watching can get you pumped, too. Come watch a game if you have a chance. Natsukage plays, too. About how much does he play? How much? Well, he's been playing longer than me, back when I was in grade school. Orko's ma Orko came here about two years back, and he's just been better, s getting better since. It's awesome! Yukinaga, what did you just call Natsukage? Huh? Orko, what about it? Yukinaga, I thought you always called him Orka. You definitely said that when I talked to you before. Oh. I can make variations on it, you know? Boring just to stick to the, to the one. You only ever call me Orko, Yuki Naga. Never change that up for as long as I've known you. Huh? What? I don't get it. Almost there. Let's ask for information only Yuki Naga would know. Soto. The real Yukinaga would have an injured leg! Aww. Injury? Uh... Uh... Yeah, I do! Look! <laughs> yeah, Yoshidashi was running along and crashed into me. Just a scratch, though, so it's all good. Huh? It was Yoshidashi crashing into him? No, it wasn't. <laughs> That's wrong! No, it's Natsukage who crashed into you, not Yoshidachi. Aww. Eh? You got proof of that? Yeah, look at my leg. I got this after crashing into Aww. you. Uh, yeah, I crashed into the guy on my right. Oh, man, I really messed that up. <laughs> Yukinaga? He collapsed. Get away, everyone, this way. <laughs> Here comes the bad guy! <laughs> didn't you think, didn't you think you little brats would find 
me out on that slip up? Can't blame me when all when y'all all look so stupid. <laughs> Are you the hacker? No Mia! That's my name! And you better remember! You best sure gave me a kilo good time! Such a barrel of fun, I almost yawned! What's this guy on about? He's stupid loud, too! Just what is it you're after? What a What am I after? Heck, does it matter? I'm just helping because this sounded like a fun gig! I'm really all... I'm really looking forward to seeing how much fun you less than bits can give me. But first, I came to say hello. Here's a little present from me. What's this? Giga hack! You better show me a whole yacht of fun next time. If you bore me again, you're packed, zipped, deleted! It's the... It's the hacking virus! Watch out! Ugh. Wait! My body's... heavy! Everybody's gonna get hijacked! Wait, while I was analyzing Yuki Naga, did I analyze the virus too? Maybe I can get rid of it! I'll give it a shot! Okay, this is where I, uh, I think that they, uh... The Nintendo DS was considered when they at some point when they made this. Yep, just hitting buttons. Exciting gameplay! Sadly, it's the closest thing they had, like, to an extreme game... like, an exciting gameplay mechanic. Is it over? I can move. I don't sense the virus anywhere any here. I don't sense the virus here anymore. It worked! Oh, thank goodness. N Nanashi, you look tired. Are you Daijobu? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Just kind of had to get, o get over some high hurdles regarding leaving the house. Yuki Naga's woken up now. He seems fine. Doesn't even have any memory of it. But you saved him. Thanks. Natsukage befriended. <clears throat> Whoa! Now you and I are friends. That's what you want, right? <laughs> oh, what does she do? <laughs> she literally just read it out loud. <laughs> oh, Misani-chan! You've done it. It was a little bit of an ordeal, or, well, perhaps a lot more than that. Wow, someone on my friend list beside Mikado. It's been so long. There's something in my eye. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> oh, my Buddha-sama, he's laughing and crying. <clears throat> he's such a weirdo. <laughs> Congratulations is where I wish it could end. But we should tell Mikado about what happened. Yeah, right. He called himself Nomiya. I don't know if that's his real name, but I might be a good clue. Then let's return to your home. Nanashi, you're staggering. Uh, uh, excuse me. I thought I was a little sturdier than this. Well, we're gonna go back now. Be careful with that wound. You sound like you push yourself hard in training as is. Nobody's gonna knock off points for taking a look knock-off point for taking a little rest. I guess I'll relax for a little. Call me if anything else comes up. I'll help as long as I don't have practice. R relaxing means not practicing, Orkun! Please make me a solemn chikai! I know I didn't teach you... I know I didn't teach you that word. So who did? I'm not vowing anything. <laughs> Please look me in the eye and say that! <laughs> Come to think of it, why is your name Orca? Yukinaga said everyone calls you that. 
Soraywa, when Orkun came here, you Yucky told him draw a dolphin, and he drew an orca. Hey! <laughs> wow! I really want to see now. <laughs> Ta-da! Coco, is it? Coco, it is. Why did you save a picture? Technology is so advanced, high quality. It's a big shippai not to make use of it. I'll give. I'll give you milk tea later. So please forgive me. This is most definitely an orca. <laughs> Well, they look similar. When I was little, I used to think that orcas were the evolved forms of dolphins. Don't say that like it's the same thing. Get the heck out of here. Wow, I'm scared. Let's go, Mizani. Yes, we should. <laughs> uh, those ending sequences are some of the best. Just the camaraderie between the characters. I love it. Now, let me see. Let me check Mutter. Oh, not there. <laughs> I went too far. <laughs> okay. Now I talk to Mikado. Brother! Ah, Nanashi and Masane. Did everything go... Did everything go okay? You being here tells me my analysis data analysis data came in handy. Oh, so it was you that sent that data on the virus. <laughs> but it was an incomplete analysis, so well done, Nanashi. You managed to erase the virus regardless. I'm really ha I'm really happy to hear you complimenting me. A moment, please. Someone we believe to be the hacker appeared before us. He was loud, overexcited, and hard to listen to. But he called himself Nomiya, created a virus, and sent it directly into our bit phones. <clears throat> Nomiya. I doubt he'd so easily use his real name, but I'll try to scour the census data for him. I was a bit stuck, so I'm glad for the info. Any developments since last time? Well, I analyzed the virus, but it seems to change over time. In fact, it can become completely different in a short span. So, if you encounter it again, you'll have to use the use different data, or you may be in serious danger. That's quite troublesome. I can see no clear objective either. That's true. Just what is the aim? I'll go to the control room and check some <laughs> some things. Be careful, Nanashi, Misane. It's possible that they have eyes on they have their eye on you. Yes. You take care as well, Mikado. Mikado has gotten gotten to work, so I should hope they won't meddle with us too much. Yeah. Man, and things had been so peaceful. Oh yeah, what about your memories, Miss Ani-chan? I'm pretty worried about that too. Oh. Huh? What? What's with the I forgot, I forgot look? There's something I need to apologize for. And before that, I also have some questions to ask. Huh. What? Well, okay, if I'm able to answer. The master program which controls this world. When did it go into operation? Talk started about six months ago, but it's been operating for about four months. So the same amount of time you've been out of school. I see. Have any hackers appeared before? Nope. Since we started using the master program, the, uh, security, I guess, has been really tight. No incidents like that at all. So it's surprising. Okay. And lastly, what year is it? Huh? You can check really easily with your bit phone. Um, right, it's 2222. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. I lied to you, Nanashi. Lied? I did not lose my memories. I knew my name and where I live from the start. What? Oh, great! That means I don't have to worry. We're gonna be sad about you losing your memories, Misane-chan. You're not angry? Why would I be? Anyway, one more thing. Yeah, yeah, go on! I came from the future. Wow, you came here all the way from the future. That's great. What? <laughs> oh, he's back. Welcome. Welcome back, Nomiya. Oh, you seem to be enjoying yourself. 
Eh, it was more or less. It was more or less just killing time. Without saying a word to me, hmm? It's hard to get. It's hard being left with this angry old coot. Oh. Ain't it the older ones who's supposed to apologize? <laughs> ah, but Nomiya, you are technically the leader. Yeah, I am the leader! Well, no one wanted to do it, so it's a process of elimination. Oh, right. Old man, I'm out of cookies. <laughs> you could get me another cup of tea, pretty please. <laughs> Coffee for me, old timer! <sighs> Isn't it a bit odd to be meeting in my shop? Somewhere a bit more hidden would be nice. Also, do you plan on paying? Put it on my tab! Don't gotta be so kilo, kilo stingy! On the tab again? Always the tab with you. And speaking such no nonsense, I'm just barely afloat! You should be a little more discreet, Nomiya. If you want to see something amusing, it's important to know how how to put up and wait. Yeah, you're being such a... You're a big... You're being a big nuisance, frankly. Give me some orders and I won't have to be, all right? <laughs> ah, the yacht of boredom. Come on, not so loud. Oh, I'm getting uneasy. Yeah! And so that's chapter one. Uh... <laughs> which is weird that they would do this. I'm going to talk over this because I don't know how safe it is for me to, you know. Um, but yeah, like, the entire point of the game is not as she needs to make friends. Because he, oh god, he needs to make friends. Um, and, uh, yeah, Misani's from the future. Uh... I, I know what happens in the game, but I'm not going to tell you guys anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot about this part, actually. Uh, thinking about it. <laughs> it's a really good opening sequence, that's for sure. How much longer does it go on? Three, four, five. Okay, I get the gist of it. You came back in time eight years <clears throat> to check up on something, but uh, I guess you won't tell me what. You claim to have lost your memory because you wanted to see what the world was like eight years ago. And because you didn't trust me much. Well, I... No, I suppose I wouldn't be able to fool you. You're exactly right. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. All I'm worried about is if you feel particularly guilty about lying, Misane-chan. <clears throat> you seem like a real justice se seeker is the thing. And your dad's a superintendent general. Police guy. So you sort of learn from him. I think that's super cool. Now that I've told you, I have nothing else to hide. But keep it a secret to the others. To others. Yeah, got it. Also take this. <laughs> it's only befriended. Huh? A friend invite? It won't throw an error? With this, Nanashi and I are friends. I do know a thing or two, you see. I created a dummy ID to fit in this world. I'm glad it works in this time as well. Aha! Man, you're just completely and totally way better than me, Misane-chan. Misane-chan? Nothing. It's just not... I'm just not quite used to how candid you are, Nanashi. Huh? What's wrong with that? It's not life-ruining. It just feels a little odd. Well, my ex-friends were pretty laid back, so maybe it influenced me a little. Your friends at school? Yeah, don't think there's anything of interest here, though. There's anything interest of here, though. Well, okay, what should we do now? 
For now, I want to check some things for myself. Nanachi, how about you look for more friends? Huh? By myself? And I can't do it online? No. Please talk to them in person, build a relationship, and have them register you as a friend. With only my dating sim knowledge to go on? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I could help if you added features to Mutter. A listening device, for instance? Oh, good point! You could help me easy if you heard the conversation. Good. Then make it switchable on and off. On or off. Turn it on when you want my help, and I'll give you advice. Okay, I'll try not to sniffle too much. I'll do my best, Masane chan Yes, good luck, Nanashi. <sighs> not yet. No, surely he wouldn't know my thoughts. It was a stupid question. I need to focus on what I... What I can see for now. You are now entering free time. In free time, you can freely talk to townspeople with the goal of befriending them. You <clears throat> can also you can also now access your PC when you where you can play mini games and earn bits or check on check your current friend list. Bits are the are the currency of this world, which can be spent to buy presents. Giving presents will raise people's fondness for you. Events occur as you acquire enough fondness, and ultimately, you may just make a friend. Okay, and with that... With that, I'm going to call it here. This is the first story episode. <clears throat> I'm also doing an episode... I'm also going to do a separate episode where I befriend everyone. The friendship mechanic works to getting different endings in the game. I explained this a little bit in the uh, in the explanation of where I've been for the past month's video. Um, but, depending on how many friends you have by the end of the game, you get one of three endings. I am only doing the true ending. Bas basically, because it would be incredibly time-consuming to try and get all three endings just to show for the video. So I'm just going to do the one. If people don't like that, I'm very sorry. Nothing to do about it. But if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. <clears throat> uh, there will be links. There will be links in the video to other videos on my channel, which I hope you will also enjoy. And with that, I bid you all <gasps> goodbye.